Hello, Sebastian. Hey, Harry. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Welcome, everybody, to Harry and Seb Talks. It's our weekly show where we talk about different topics in business, entrepreneurship, and anything to do with your agency as your yeah. work, as as well. Seb's joining us um, from what looks like the basement of the house today, and I'm joining you from the telephone box. Um, <laughs> and today we've got quite an interesting topic, because, and it's something that Sebastian suggested to talk about, which is how can your agency benefit from stable diffusion? So maybe, Seb, you could tell us a little bit about why this topic came up, why you thought it would be cool to talk about it. Um, I, was, I was at a bar camp in um, Prague, and one of the agency owners came up with this topic, stable diffusion. I haven't heard of it. But it's kind of like a machine learning um, text to image model to generate like digital images from from like natural language descriptions. So you say, for example, I would like to have a photograph of an astronaut riding a horse or an astronaut playing a piano in space. And then this um, software generates um, this image for you automatically and for example you can say um, I want an image in the style of comic or something and, and it can even the styles out in the terms how you want it and that was insane I mean I can I can share the screen to show you a bit about more about it if you want just Please let do. me check here the that, so to, to kind of wrap, to kind of just pull in what Seb was saying for everybody who's listening, like stable diffusion is one of many AI models that can be used to to generate images, as Seb is showing on his screen right now. You type in prompts inside a um, uh, inside like a, a command terminal or on a website, and um, you can generate these images. There's a couple of these now. Um, one's called Dali. There's stable diffusion. There's a couple others as yeah. well. But the reason stable diffusion is so exciting is because it's, I would say it's probably one of the first that's actually been open sourced. So you can just download yeah. it to your computer and, uh, and generate images yourself. Exactly. You can just look it up, YouTube video, how to install it. And here you have some images. You have a Darth Vader on a bike through the forest or this piano player, uh, this, uh, this astronaut playing piano in space, the unicorn and the picture and um look up like this and you give it to the diffusion and say hey make me something out of this from this mock-up it creates something like this which is crazy i mean it's insane if you compare it to the the other image that you have drawn you know <laughs> And I think this is this is the exciting thing, right? Because um, as a designer, I think about like where where does this go for for designers? But imagine just like talking to somebody, sketching a wireframe on a piece of paper, and then yeah. um, the AI just takes that and turns it into a UI. So you're still doing the the thinking, so to speak, at the beginning, but the yeah. the AI is then doing like the heavy lifting for you, so removing a lot of that, you know, annoying. Um, hard work <laughs> so to speak i mean i mean that's that's the question that i wanted to ask uh, how, how can your agency benefit from the stable diffusion because it's really new and i mean it will probably not directly replace the designers i mean for my agency i have three designers that are are designing but it can help for sure i mean if they know how to use it it can help you to spend less hours on creating something. For example, if you just say, create me a forest in a real photo, you don't have to start from the beginning or you don't have to look on Shutterstock and so on. It just creates it by itself and then you can use a part of it. And then you ask, for example, now I want um, an orange bike with, I don't know, a bear on top of it. And based on this, you can continue your work. I mean, it's pretty pretty cool yeah i agree and it actually it's interesting on twitter the other day a guy called danny postma that i follow 
Um, I would get, I would tell everybody to go check him out. Um, he's re- just released a new startup that he that he's launched where they generate stock photos for you um, using, I think, something like Stable Diffusion or OpenAI. And then he sells yeah. credits. Uh, so you buy credits in order to be able to download more images and stuff like that. I think there's a real like economy build being built on top of these these tools. So they're, they're trying to think about how can they use this tool in their workflow. So I guess for, for, for an agency, realistically, you need to think about like, where in your workflow could AI benefit it? I know that um, for us, like we use AI to copyright because it, it speeds yeah. up the process of copywriting quite a lot. Um, I can't think of much for it, for image generation yet because I feel like still some of the UIs that I'm generating with Stable Diffusion have a little bit more to go before it gets to a point where it's it's usable. You know? Yeah, I mean it can it can help or support in the process. Of creating something for even for the ads i mean it would be better to have like the entire ads like created you give them just the text and so on and then it creates something um out of it or give you some ideas i mean it will just help you with your creativity because everybody that uh, mm. that works in like design or has a creative mindset they have these specific days when they are not so creative or They are just stuck into it, and then maybe this this might help them to get some new inspiration or to come up with some ideas. You know, I agree, and I think it's something that's really important to realize is that um, it could just be the thing that helps. You know, when you're looking at a blank piece of paper and you're like, "Oh, fuck, where the hell do I start here?" And just using AI can help you kind of like get into that creative mood or or help you start getting into it. What yeah. would the difference? What would be the difference be for you guys if, like, for example, um, your your creative bits were generated by an AI? Like, how much would that save in terms of that time, money, effort, etc.? Would it be a massive difference for your business? Would it not be? Depends what you are doing. I mean, if you do some animations or videos, I mean, this will this is now pictures, but when it comes to videos and it can create some videos by itself, some parts of it that would be that would be like crazy that would solve a lot of time mm-hmm. um, with the ads, I mean you have your product, so you can position your product in something, and I mean it I think it helps you only in the creative process, as I said, so right now it wouldn't save so much time. Only when, for example, what I mentioned, you don't have a specific idea what you want or you can't remember what you want and then um, you would use it in this moment and then maybe it saves you an hour or two hours or maybe even three hours. So I, I see it more as a support support system, oh, yeah. but also helps the designers to know how to use it because in the future, this will be getting better and better and better. And then maybe your designers will just speak to the AI and will say, hey, I want this, this, and this to be really specific, like like you sometimes with Google. I mean, some of us, they Google, they are not so good at Google. And if, if you figure out how to use Google, you can be really easy to find something sure, sure. with only one search string. And this might be the same with this um, stable diffusion. So you know exactly what to write in the stable diffusion in order to get exactly the image that you want. I totally agree. Um, and I, I kind of wanted to throw an opinion in there because I feel like this is an opinion that some people might come up with when, they're, when, they're t- when we're talking about AI, which is what do we do about the people who are worried or say this isn't a good thing because it's going to replace jobs, it's going to get rid of people, And it could actually harm the industry more so than than benefit it. I mean, you can go with the time or you do what you do and then you just wake up when you lose your job. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I so. also, also imagine what I had in mind with the stable diffusion. Think of NFT. So now you pay lots of money for some NFTs. I mean... I can create them with the stable diffusion and I don't need to be creative or something. I just create them there. So it will be also interesting in this direction with art because I can create my art, the art by myself with the stable diffusion. 
I don't need to buy fucking expensive NFTs. Yes, of course, of course. I think... I mean, it needs to add this NFT thing is more than that, I know, besides this art thing, but um, it will be interesting how Stable Diffusion will play, play a role in this NFT thing. Agreed. I think uh, there definitely needs to be some like control over that, yeah. for sure. Um, and I think from, from my perspective on it, it's like you can really think about um, how either AI can benefit your business and how you're going to improve it and adapt your business to help with it. Yeah. Or as you said, you get kind of like lost in, in, the, in the background. I think you should still not really, and I, I said to you before the call, like, you know, yeah. you shouldn't really worry about AI replacing you. What you should be excited about is the fact that, you know, the AI doesn't know at the moment what prompts to write to generate an image. It didn't, it didn't create that yeah. initial sketch to then turn it into an image that you showed us in the example. It's like, there's still some creative um, input and that has to come from us at the moment because, you know, the AI just exactly. doesn't know what's in our head. It doesn't know what, what we want. It doesn't know what we want to create. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is now something that is like at the beginning and that's why I thought it's maybe an interesting topic to discuss to make agency owners aware of this and maybe to test with it around and see how they can integrate this in their workflow for the future. Um to avoid being like outrun by other agencies that use this already since some time and maybe they see in the future lots of money with that or people. So to be aware of this, also speak to your employees, tell them what's coming. Just make them to make aware because sometimes everybody is in their own bubble and, and if you see these things and some designers are still like, haven't heard of it at all or haven't seen this kind of stuff, they are like, wow, they will be really, really surprised with this. And yeah. then they know more maybe how how they can develop or how they can learn these things. Agreed. And what I wanted to ask, ask you next um, was what do you think about... Um, The fact that, uh, well, no, sorry. What did what did some of the other agency owners, when you were talking to them, did they have any ideas or input on that? Did they, what did they have to say? Uh, they were they were also saying kind of like what what I mentioned already, like to, to use it as a support um, when they do something really creative. Um, But another thing that he also said is like in the future, probably we will have lots of designers just putting things in. And what I understood with the stable diffusion, you can also mark things. So what I'm doing with my ads, for example, when I see the ad and I say, yeah, it's nice. But this thing, I don't like it. It should be with a different color. And this is what you can exactly do with these images with stable diffusion. You say... I want to have exactly this part um, in red or in a reddish color. And then it comes up and creates it like this. I mean, wow. this is like, this is like crazy. Yeah, yeah, because it removes um, actually a lot of the friction of giving feedback because uh, you can just write to the AI and give direct feedback rather than them writing to a human. There's a yeah, and imagine, imagine, imagine now you're writing things in the future you will say things like generate me yeah. an image with um i don't know harry and zap talk in comic in in disney cartoon and i don't know what and then whoop it's there yes and think further then it comes to videos and when you think with videos like when you say hey i want to make a movie that should start like this so maybe at one point you can make movies entirely with a software like this which is an insane you know yeah fantastic it really it really is a bit of a game changer really um i mean especially for i mean creative especially designers or something they need to learn how to use for example adobe or some some tools and maybe they are really creative but don't know how to use these tools that would give them a really awesome opportunity because they can speak to an AI and it will generate this automatically. So I, I believe there will be at one point artists that can't really well draw maybe, but <laughs> they know what to tell the AI in order to make really awesome images. It's interesting that you say that because a lot of digital artists as well, you, you kind of see this trend already. Like some of them really suck at traditional drawing, but if you give them a tablet, 
on a pen, uh, they're, they're amazing at what they do. Um, and it's just, it's just kind of, yeah. it, it's interesting that you say that because I feel like that could be very well what happens with the AI stuff as well. You have these really creative people who know how to write really amazing prompts and create really cool designs. But actually, when you ask them to yeah. do all that themselves, they, 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 they really struggle because it's all in their head at the end of the day. Where, um, where uh, do you think this is going to go? How long do you think we're, we're away from this being like something that people are going to use uh, full time so, at work? Uh, can you repeat the question? The um, connection seems so good. Okay, no worries. Um, where do you kind of see this going in the future? How far away do you think we are from designers using AI in their day-to-day -day job? I think personally, mm. another another yeah. another couple of years. I think five years, five to ten years, and we we'll, we could. Yes, I that. would have all of that five years. Five years. I mean, it's close. It's close. Depends on the development, but it's really close. So I would also have said five years, probably. Mm, I agree as well. I agree as well. Well, yeah. Let's, um, Let's end it on there. So thank you so much for listening. Um, this is Harry and Seb Talks, where we talk about everything to do with entrepreneurism, business, AI this week as well. Um, if, you want to talk, uh, if you want to talk to Seb online, go to his LinkedIn, Sebastian Bayer, or you can also find everything to do with his agency, IRA7 Consulting, on Instagram um, and all the other social media platforms. Just type in IRA7 Consulting, you'll be able to find them. If you want to find out more about me, it's Harry Roper. Um, on YouTube and LinkedIn and then if you type in imaginary space and any social media you'll find us on there as well apart from that uh, that's it for this week's episode thank you so much for listening and watching if you're watching on YouTube and uh, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to discuss you can put it in the comments down below yeah have a great day and until our next episode see you soon thanks bye bye Harry